Hi. I'm going to uh, do my air brakes test. So I'm going to set this right here and see if I can do my air brakes test. Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. I'll try my air brakes test. So. All right. Okay. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is my air, my um, low air warning. Uh -huh. I always have to, you have to put it in the clutch first because if you don't, they'll fail you. Okay. All right. Um, this uh, test should be started no, lo no lower than 90 psi, and right now the psi is perfect because it's past 100 on my primary and secondary. Lower warning on those. Um, I'm going to fan my uh, service brake down and uh, it should come on between 55 and 75 psi. My low air warning. Nice and pleasant. Okay, my. Uh, it was my primary that. My, my, it was my secondary that started to set off. Came on at around 60, and my primary was at around 80. So, okay. Now I'm going to do my um, my air compressor cutout test. So I'm my engine and see when it cuts out. It should cut out. It should not. I'm going to. Uh, 1200 RPMs and it should cut out before exceeding 130 PSI. This is a strange track, because usually when it cuts out, it starts going back to okay, my, uh, my primary cut out at 125. That's where it is, it serves as a PSI, so it's really strange. Well, as my, my, my primary is still, yeah, my secondary cut out at 125, and yeah, it starts to lose the PSI, and my secondary is still rising. I mean, my, my primary is still rising. Very strange how it does that. Okay, my primary cut out at about a, cut out at 112 psi. All right. Now I'm going to do my air compressor cut-in test. My, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step on it, announce my primary and secondary uh, gauges, and then I'll add power. 1200 RPMs and uh, watch my gauges and see if they rise. Uh, if they do not rise, I have to do the thing over again, so I'm going to step on it. Release. My uh, primary is at uh, 110, my secondary is at 98. Now I'll rev it for 10 seconds and see if it goes up. Didn't have to go all the way 10 seconds because of there, my my secondary was already rising. And, uh, it's a good test. Okay, now I'm going to do my applied brake leakage test. What I'll do is I'll put it into low gear, turn off my uh, engine, give it, uh, turn on my uh, power by electrical so I can see what's going on here. I'll release my brakes. And I'm going to depress my service brake and hold it for 60 seconds to see how much 
air pressure I lose, I should lose no more than 4 psi. Okay, I'll squish it down now. I'm going to settle. My uh, primary is at 95. My secondary is at, uh, say, 90. Let's see here. Hold it. Count for 60 seconds now. I should not lose more than 4 psi, as I said. muscle workout by stepping on here for 60 seconds. You get your exercise with this job, don't you? <laughs> A little bit. Uh -huh. The thighs definitely do it, especially when you're holding that uh, clutch down at a Okay, uh, this is a failed test because I lost more than 4 psi. My uh, primary is now around uh, 90, and my secondary is at around, oops, yeah, it's going down 80 psi. Definitely lost more than 4 psi. Okay. Now I'm going to do, oh yeah, I'm going to do my uh, parking brake test. I've got to pull these things out before I say that was a good test or a bad test. If I don't do that, I fail. Oh, yeah. Right. So I probably would have failed right there, I bet. Yeah, I did that earlier. You would have, yeah. Oh, crap. All right. Right. Put it in neutral and... Okay, now I'm going to do my three tugs test. I failed on is not release pulling these things for the end of my uh, air applied brake leakage test. Shoot. Okay. 